I want to share with you. As I looked at the, the faces of Ethiopia, I felt such a kinship, such a deep love. So I wrote this poem called Your Face. There is something in the structure of your face, bones sharpened to nostril silhouettes, slender limbs of royal framing poured into names that are familiar, yet I do not know you. Who are you that stirs my heart to feel this kinship rhythmic pattern? The experience is this. When I go home to my family, my heart races with love and joy to see and hear the sounds of my relatives. How can this be the same experience whenever I encounter you of Ethiopia? Man, woman, or child, the response is the same. Waves of love rolling down deep within my soul. A flutter feeling of butterfly wings moving upward to my heart. This feeling expanding and widening at great velocity of speed, traveling as fast as light and fire, winging on the wings of joy to greet you. I pray that my love does not frighten you away. I cannot help this moving whirlwind of fire within. I hear the words over and over and over, Ethiopia shall stretch out her hands to me, and I will bring her them into my bosom. I see invisible hands holding a scarlet thread trail, leading and leaning in the direction of Israel. The light is turning upon your faces, my friends. Are you my brother in Ethiopia? The light is turning upon your faces in Ethiopia, in Israel, in America, and all over. Something is written in your face. A thought, a place hidden from human sight. What secret are you carrying for me? Once. I saw a stranger's face, so familiar. My hands touched and moved upon the skin, so like my own. I literally lost myself in something that I cannot explain, Ethiopia. So I search faces looking for that moment to live again with fresh awakening blooming like the rose of Sharon. Does it have something to do with what we are waiting for Ethiopia, Kush, Nubia. Are you carrying a sound? Am I carrying a sound? One day we will know, for the God of Israel knows everything. Hallelujah.